This guide shows you how to upgrade iTunes to the latest version, the alternative way if you don't have Apple Update installed on your system. You may need to update iTunes if you've updated your iOS on your iPhone, iPad or iPod. So first of all we need to open iTunes, so double click, left click iTunes from the desktop or if you, it's not on your desktop, click the start menu and find iTunes from your start menu and left click it. Once iTunes opens, normally if there's an update available, it will automatically show you the update on screen. However, sometimes it doesn't automatically appear. Luckily, you can manually check for updates by left clicking help, then left click check for updates. As you can see, a new version of iTunes is available window appears. It says, would you like to download it now? Move your mouse over download iTunes and left click once. It will now open your default internet browser and bring you to the Apple iTunes download page. Once the page is loaded, best thing to do is untick these two boxes here. You don't have to put your email address in the email address box. Just make sure your location is selected correctly. If not, click other and type in your location. Then left click once on download now. After a while, iTunes should automatically start downloading. As you can see at the bottom of the screen here, it tells us status of iTunes. If you're using Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, you may have a different screen and it may be downloading um, in a different way, which I'll show you. In Google Chrome, you'll see this uh, box appear in the bottom left hand corner of your screen. If you're using Mozilla Firefox, you may get this box come up. Click, if so, click Save File. Or you may see a time appear just up here in the, bo in the top right hand corner of the screen. Once it's downloaded, then if you're using Microsoft Edge or Internet Explorer, left click Run. If you're using Google Chrome, then left click the iTunes 6464 setup. Or if you're using Mozilla Firefox, once the time has disappeared, it should have downloaded. And we see this arrow appear, the blue arrow. So left click the blue arrow. And then left click iTunes 6464 setup, just there. Now, whichever method you've chosen to, uh, uh, or whichever browser you're using, it will come up with this file security warning box. So just left click run. A blue bar will now start going across the center of your screen. This may take a while, um, but uh, whilst this is doing this please do not try to do anything else on your computer don't interrupt the installation and uh, like i say don't do anything else okay the bar has disappeared off the screen and it's now saying preparing to install again do nothing here it now says it's gathering required information so uh, just be patient with this. iTunes does tend to take a long time to install. OK, so it says iTunes is currently running on this computer. If you proceed without quitting iTunes, it's highly recommended that you restart your computer after installation. Um, if you just left click yes on here, that should be fine. OK, so we now need to move our mouse over next and left click next. We can leave these as standard and just left click install. The screen will now darken and it will say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your PC? Left click yes. 
the installation will continue. This may take a while. Apple uh, iTunes always seems to take a long time to install on a computer. So at times it may look as though it's not doing anything but please just be patient with it. It also may say again, it may ask us um, for permission. Um, if the screen darkens and anything appears, um, then say yes to it. But as I say, this can take a long time to install. It may look as though it's frozen at times. Please just be patient with it. Do not abort the installation. Um, fair enough, yeah, if it takes longer than half an hour to install, then there may well be a problem. But best thing to do is just, um, like I say, leave it be. Uh, but keep an eye on the screen just in case it asks you any questions. Okay. I will pause this video and we'll come back to it as it's nearing the end of the installation or I'll come back to it if it asks me any further questions. Okay, so it's it's halfway through the installation. It says, do you want to allow this app to install software on your PC? Move your mouse over yes and left click once if this appears on your screen. The installation will continue. And again, this might take a little while or a long while in actual fact, and it may look as though it's paused or frozen in places, but please just, just leave it. Don't try and interrupt the installation. I'll pause the, um, the video again and come back to it when it asks me the next question. Okay, well, we're back again. So uh, that took a while. Thanks, Apple. Uh, right, okay. So bearing in mind, um, when we first started this installation, it recommended that we restarted the computer before we opened iTunes. So what I would say is left-click the box to the left of open iTunes after the installer X6 to remove the tick. If there's no tick in there, then just leave B. Move the mouse down to finish and left-click finish. And then we need to close everything down on the computer. So I'm just going to close all the screens that uh, are currently open on my computer. And we're back to the desktop. Okay, so uh, just close this one down. So what we need to do now is we need to finally restart the computer. Now, if you're running Windows 8 or Windows 10, this is especially important that we do a restart rather than a shutdown. Um, <clears throat> if you're using Windows 7, then um, you can actually shut the computer down, leave it off for a few minutes and then start up again, or you can do a restart, it really doesn't matter. But if you're running Windows 8 or Windows 10, then make sure you go to Start, then Power, and click restart rather than shut down. Um, once the computer's restarted, um, then we can open iTunes and we should now have the latest version. Thanks for watching.